This is my Bighorn 400. Hey folks, old man here. Sorry for my little hiatus. Uh, this heat has just been killing me, man. <laughs> it's been rough on the old man. But uh, hopefully things are going to start cooling off some. And I'll get back to putting out some videos on a semi-regular basis, maybe. Uh, I appreciate you tuning in. And uh, let's get to it. This is my Bighorn 400 UTV. Or my little buggy, as I like to call it. And uh, I bought it to help me around the property. It's uh, with my health being what it is, it's been uh, a huge help to have this to help me get around. And let's go ahead and start talking about some of the features that it has. So, as you can see here, uh, it is a Bighorn brand, sold by uh, Tractor Supply here locally. And uh, it comes equipped with a Runva winch on it. Uh, it's a pretty good winch. It's an Australian brand. Uh, if you watch uh, four-wheel drive 24-7, all of those guys use Runva. So uh, it's a good, well-known brand. I was really surprised that it had that on it. And you'll notice it comes with... Uh, some very nice LED headlights. They have bright and low. Uh, it also comes with a fold down windshield and a roof. Uh, comes with side mirrors. And you look here, it comes with the premium wheels. Um, pretty good tires. And put the gas in under the seat right here. We'll go on around it before we do inside the cab area. And on the back here we have the dump bed. It's a really nice feature to have. So there's the uh, dump bed from the other side. And it opens from the rear back here. And it makes for a really nice little workspace see a nice little tailgate there that you can work off of and uh, here's your little sneak peek of something I'm working on for the truck uh, got a new uh, grill in from customcargrills.com so be looking for that on the Instagram channel and if you'd like to see it here on this channel as well, let me know and we'll put something together on it for here. And we have the LED tail lights. It does come equipped with turn signals and everything. Very nice uh, independent suspension all the way around. And I did add, uh, it didn't come with the hitch haul. I put that on there. That's my old hitch haul. Uh, where I live I do have trash pickup so this makes it easy for me to take the trash can down to the road uh, trash truck won't come up my driveway and it's if you've ever been to my place it's a pretty good haul from the road up to the house so let's check out what it's like in the cabin here uh, like I mentioned before it's got the side mirrors uh, it does have a nice little control panel here lights up very nicely have uh, a lot of nice controls here it's got four-wheel drive got hazard lights got your headlights on and off high and low beam your turn signals that I mentioned uh, there's your winch control and then something else that I was really surprised that it came with was it does have a rear locker so 
all you four-wheel drive enthusiasts there you go uh, it does have a high and low transmission so uh, yeah pretty cool stuff there so another thing you'll notice it does come with headrest um, so yeah it's packed with a lot of features and uh, that a lot of the the higher brands the the more name brands like Kubota and John Deere Kawasaki Polaris all those uh, everything is extra you know the, all these things are add-ons and this one comes with these things uh, so it's that's pretty nice I, I really like that does come equipped with cup holders Got one on each side here uh, and this one I have have a little Balfong. Uh, if you have one of those little Balfong radios, I don't know if you know this or not, but you can pick up FM and AM radio on there. So, you know, if you'd like to use that for your radio, it works pretty good. So about the only thing that it didn't come with that I wanted it to have was uh, the the little dump bed. Is it's all steel. And so I put some rubber mats down in the bottom of it and to help kind of quiet things down, keep it from getting scratched up, that sort of thing. So it doesn't start rusting back there. Uh, and uh, so now let's, let's talk about what I like and what I don't like. Uh, as I mentioned, I like all the features that it comes with. It comes with a lot of really nice features that like I said, you just don't get with the other brands without paying extra for. Speaking of paying, I like the price. Um, at Tractor Supply, you can catch this on sale for $79.99. <laughs> so it comes in, you know, just a penny under $8,000. Uh, and that's a pretty good deal for everything that you get, I think. So far, it runs great. Uh, it being a 400, you know, it's not loaded with power, but it's got enough power to do everything I've needed so far. Uh, and I've, I've put it to work pretty good already. And you'll see more of that on the channel if you stick around and watch future videos as we continue cleaning up the trail. Um, we'll have some of those videos coming real soon. Uh, another thing that I like about it, uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, the seat is is nice and comfortable. Like I said, it's got the headrest. Uh, the windshield is the fold-down type, so if you want a little extra circulation of air, uh, you can fold the windshield down and get that. I really like the little LED screen. Uh, tells you everything that's going on with it. You can keep up with you know, a, a ton of information is, is shown there. Uh, I really like that. Uh, I like that it's pretty much street ready. You know, it has the turn signals and headlights, brake lights, all, all that good stuff. So, you know, if you need to drive it on the street for some reason or another, uh, if, a, if a supermarket was a little bit closer to me, I would probably make some grocery runs with it. Uh, it's just not a, you know, it doesn't work for me here where I am, but for some people I'm sure it would. So, or if you have property that's across the road or up the road a little ways and you need to go from one piece of property to the other, it works pretty good for that. You can take it out on the road. Of course, you need to check the, uh, the local laws wherever you are. I'm speaking about South Carolina laws. It does have some storage under the seat. It has storage in the front. There's a little hood. The motor is in the back under the uh, bed. So your area in the front there is it's like a Volkswagen. You got your trunk space in the front. Uh, and uh, there, there are some mechanical and electrical things in there. But there's room for some storage. Uh, you can put your tool kit or whatever in there. And then I have have my first aid kit up under the seat here. There's a really large storage compartment in there. 
you can get an enclosure for it you know like a set of zipper doors and uh, so if you want to use it in the winter time you can here where I live in the south uh, the winters aren't that bad so I don't think I'll be needing that I have driven it in the rain and you get a little wet but for the most part it works pretty good I can kind of ease over towards the middle and not get quite so wet now let's talk about what I don't like um, it's loud not the exhaust but the engine noise inside the cab area is very loud um, that's I really don't like that uh, also there's a lot of heat from the engine that comes up from the back side of the seat so as hot as it's been lately uh, having that extra heat coming in that's no bueno uh, I might like it this winter though so but I, I have been looking at a way to block that off so we can do something about that uh, not sure what I can do about the noise uh, there is a like a little engine vent on the front of the seat and I'm sure a lot of the noise is coming out of that if any of you have a bighorn 400 and you've found a remedy for the noise please let me know in the comments because uh, that's like I said that's the one thing that I really don't like about it so uh, my overall opinion of it is it's a great deal uh, it runs good uh, my understanding is the company that makes them uh, is using an old Honda patent to manufacture the engine so it's pretty much a little Honda engine from I don't know when the patent ran out maybe in the 70s so it's the same engine technology from then with a modern twist to it I guess uh, but it uh, it runs runs fine uh, it seems to be put together well uh, don't have any issues with anything rattling or feeling like it's going to come apart in any way it's been really great about helping me get around the property uh, I don't have I don't have a huge piece of property but it's it's big enough to where an old man like me can't just wander around it anymore uh, so it's it's been really helpful for that and like I said you can catch them I think normally at tractor supply they're $89.99 but you can catch them on sale for $79.99 and uh, I think a comparable uh, vehicle from Kubota or uh, John Deere or Kawasaki any of those I think you're, you're going to be looking at well over 14 grand. Okay, I'm not sure where he is, but Mr. Skunk is nearby. We may have to cut this short and move somewhere else. <laughs> I do have a family of skunks that live here on the property. Uh, try to stay out of their way. I uh, don't know if you know this, but skunks eat yellow jackets. They'll dig up their nest and, and just completely annihilate them. Uh, and it's my understanding they also eat some types of ants so if you can live with your skunks they're they're a good person good uh, creature to have around okay so I went to move for the impending doom of the skunk and the battery died on my other camera so I had to switch over to this one I hope it's not too bad this is a much older camera and a much cheaper camera so uh, we'll see how it turns out hopefully I won't have to do this part over but uh, yeah anyway uh, in closing this thing up uh, I really like the little buggy that's what I call it is my buggy um, I guess a lot of people call it a side-by-side -side or a UTV but I, I really do like it uh, it's been a lot of fun it's been very helpful uh, my grandson really enjoys driving it he's 14 and uh, he, he really enjoys it so that's that's a bonus feature for me 
I love spending time with the boy and, and getting to ride around the property with him. He likes chauffeuring his pop pop around. Uh, I'm pop pop. Uh, what do your grandchildren call you if you have them? Let me know in the comments. Now, I'm supposed to be saying stuff like that, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's a little helpful. If you have any questions about the Bighorn 400 here, uh, please let me know. And I'll try to answer them best I can. I'm still learning about this one. Like I said, I've had it about three months now. And, but I, I really like it so far. So hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time if you if you're watching and you hadn't subscribed go ahead and give me a subscribe uh, doesn't cost you anything and it'll help the old man out all right we'll see you on the next one old man out